Well, ladies and gentlemen, Colorado, my state, my state has uh, done Trump a favor, but he doesn't have to be on the ballot. He doesn't have to worry about running for president in Colorado. <laughs> the Republicans here are just losing their mind. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> oh my, I do declare my Supreme Court in my state has just, woo! <laughs> Maybe I should lay off a Downton Abbey. Anywho, again, I'm truly trying to stop saying that. Let's see if the Supreme Court is what they're going to do about it. I know they know. I know they've been watching. I know that they know it's coming their way. So I have a thought. If Trump wins, do you think the, the Republican Supreme Court justices understand that they're going to lose their job too if he wins? Do, do you think they realize that? Like they're going to lose all of their power, possibly their jobs? I do you think they have figured that out? I don't know. But let's let's do a quick little hard read on that after I do a remote view on it. I see things in my head. That's how I know it's time to do a remote view is because I start seeing a whole bunch of pictures start to fall in, but none of them are in place. So I have to close my eyes and have the movie, if you if you will, as to and how it's uh, played out. Anyhow, enough of that. We're gonna take a deep breath and I'm going to remote view. Do you guys like my new chair? I got that from the Goodwill for 20 bucks. Yes, I mm -hmm. Okay, here I go. I don't know why this is, but there's a yellow glow. So what I see is all of them sitting in their chairs in a circle, all behind, you know, their big desks and whatever it is that they sit behind. And the backdrop is a, like yellow lights coming up. I'm curious as to why it's yellow. Maybe they're seeing the light. Maybe it represents the sun. Each one of them. So this one starts here. He's the person, the one of the justices are, are writing. That, I can't tell who's who right now. Um, writing something down, passing it along. And then that person writes something down, passes it along, writes something down, it goes all the way down. Like this little white little piece of paper, everybody's writing down something and passing it to the next. I'm not sure why they're doing that. I've never seen that before. So that little piece of white paper gets to the last justice and a bright spotlight just literally turned on them like they're going to read it or something like they are in the uh, hot speed in hot seat. Like they have to read whatever it was on this piece of paper. I'm just watching. I'm just watching to see. So the person, one of the justices, like I said, I can't tell which one it is right now. They look down at the piece of paper and they look up 
and they place the piece of paper like upside down onto the desk. I'm waiting to see if they're going to say something. <laughs> Okay, that may, what does that mean? And you're not gonna give it to us right away. They already know they're waiting for the Supreme Court for the, oh, okay. So they're waiting for the court. So they've already decided, that's what this means. They have all collectively already decided what they're gonna do with that, okay. Underneath, I okay, so I, behind them is yellow, underneath, all of their feet are green. Either all of their feet means yes, they're all green, or all of them are in the same opinion, but every single one of the feet are green. Okay. I'm going to take it that there probably is green, go, yes. Green is yes that they're going to remove him. That they agree with the Colorado Supreme Court. Okay. So now they're showing me this, and I don't know what this is. Maybe somebody else can interpret this, but they have, everybody's now holding hands and all of the hand holding is like, this sounds so bizarre. Everybody's holding hands all the way to Colorado. Everybody's holding their hands all the way to Michigan. All of them are holding their hands all the way to California. Like there's hand holding, like the messaging I think is every, like they're in cahoots. Like their messaging is the same. Like this is what we gotta do to get out of this. Hmm. So I see, I don't know what this is about. I'm just going to tell you, this could be something, means something totally different. Like after they make this decision, a lot of angry Republicans, um, but there's lava coming up and out of the White House or the, the justices building, but nothing's getting burnt. It's just like a show of lava coming up. Like the pressure may be being released. Lava could be a lot of angry emotions or a lot of emotions coming out of it. The Supreme Court gets a lot of hate. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But there's the lava's not doing any damage. It's like a film that I'm watching over top of the the justices building. Hmm. Whew, okay. A shockwave just went all the way through the United States. No damage is happening, but there's like a gentle shock wave across the United States. It's green. It's a green shock wave of energy going across the United States. This is bizarre. Even for me, this is bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna come up and out of that. They just keep on telling me again and again, I think, if I'm interpreting that remote view, that they are going to agree with the Colorado um, Supreme Court. And it's gonna sh send shockwaves through the, through the country. They know that they're gonna lose their job if Trump gets in. All right, let's do the cards. Let's, let's throw some cards to go on top of it. Well, well, well.
All right. The lovers, the attraction, the relationship, the connection. Now that could be the connection, the hand-holding that came out, the love, the connection between the people that I was telling you that had held hands to these states. There's a connection. There's an emotional choice to be made. Makes sense. Remember I talked, said that what's behind them is the yellow, the sun. So success, happiness, prosperity, hope, joy, love, satisfaction, vitality, clarity, understanding, achievement, fulfillment, and good news. I just read everything that's associated with the sun off of that card. Good news. I think that's what that yellow behind them means. Good news. The lava. My cards are so hilarious. The lava. The five of swords. The lava. The heat. The mad. The angry. Um, strife. Tension. Betrayal. Loss. Defeat. Now, I'm looking at this as a perspective from the democratic side. So that's the reason why these cards are coming out like they are. So let's see what the next one is. Nine of wands, defending the territory. I hope they don't attack this justices building, but it didn't look like they were doing any damage. It didn't look like the lava was doing any damage, but they might, they might protest at the, um, their courage under fire and the defending the, the uh, justice building. Somebody else knows the word for that. I'm so sorry. But strength, protecting what is ours. That could be a many things. Uh, the justices is going to protect the United States, going to protect our justice system, going to protect our integrity, going to protect our voting system. So defending our democracy. Hanged man. So hanged man is a tradition, uh, is um, tradition and cinder and retreat. So this could be many things. A new perspective. It could be a new perspective. A new idea. A different way of doing it. Letting go. That makes more sense. The hangman also represents letting go of the Republican ideology, the re, um, letting go of Trump. Oh, letting go of Trump. All right, I'm going to do some clarifiers here. The lovers, the end. Okay. King of Wands, born um, visionary, the sun. The visionary, they are understanding the future. The Hierophant shows up with the Five of Swords, meaning that um, how do I put this? Our higher selves are going to protect our democracy, our higher energy, our higher selves, our higher looking, a higher idea is going to protect our. Um, isn't that a missed opportunity under the nine of wands? I think they might uh, try to storm the justice building. But like I said, remember in my remote view, there was lava flowing, but it wasn't doing any damage. So their anger appeared, but it, it was for naught. So, and I think this represents also uh, the lack of persuasion, the lack of damage, the lack of, you know, like, oh, so what? You showed up mad. Woo! You know what I mean? It kind of it kind of feels like that. Underneath the hangman is the page of wands, discovery, um, creative talent, the message, the news, chasing the adventure, continuing on our, uh, uh, the America. I think... I think uh, I think we're really going to see that our Supreme Court understands if they if Trump is elected again, they will also lose their job. 
think that is definitely an idea that they are not fond of. Wow, we. I also want to do a quick read on uh, what the Supreme Court is going to say, whether Trump uh, can have call blanche, call blanche, call blanche. Anyways, I need to stop using fancy words. Apparently, I can't pull it off. However, if he has immunity because he was president. I'm not sure the logic in the Republicans understand this, but we can see it for what it is. If they say that the president is immune to whatever crimes he does as president, then Biden could literally turn dictatorship and uh, so what? He can put a hit on orange Cheeto. Nothing to be said. Nothing to do. We know he won't. At least we hope he won't. <laughs> I mean, he is a scorpion. Yeah. I do love my scorpions. They do have ideas. <laughs> But anywho, I'm going to do a little uh, reading on that as well. My thought is, my feeling behind that is, they won't chance that. And my feeling also is that the Supreme Court justices are really sick and tired of them being portrayed as the Republicans dog and pony show. Like they are being led, you know, by a Marjorie Taylor Greene. They're really kind of sick and tired of that. That's my feeling on it. So we'll see. We will see. Don't forget to underneath my videos, uh, there's a link to get your forever rose. The real roses they somehow last forever. They smell really good and they're really pretty. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what the Supreme Court's idea is. Page of Cups. They're good. Okay. So I have the Page of Cups, the romantic visionary, right? It's all of a sudden they have this opportunity. I'm like, we could get Trump out of trouble we could we, we we could say that he you're right the visionary that creativeness they're like hmm, maybe maybe but they want a new beginning they want their status back they want their reputation back um they've been fools I also have this feeling with the Supreme Court, they really, really regret overturning Roe v. Wade. It's almost like they go, after they had done it, they were all kinds of excited and everybody was very happy about it, but they kind of go back when they're all by themselves. Like, we shouldn't have done that. It has placed our country into chaos. We shouldn't have done that. I kind of feel like that with them. I'm not sure, um, you know, Clarence Thomas feels like that. He, he's a totally different narcissist, but um, I kind of feel like they do. So I had the four pentacles, financial control and stability. They understand what's at play. They understand that they can throw this country into, they, they need to keep it stable or they can throw it into chaos. 
I think they say no. I'm almost positive they say no, but he does not. Today is the day. Today, the 20th is, is Trump's last opportunity to uh, put in his thing, his lawyers to put in their idea and their, their argument against it. I don't know what they could argue. Please get Trump out of trouble. I mean, is that the only argument they have? Please don't let him go to jail, please, please. Please, please. I think that's the only argument they have to say that that man has immunity. Not only that, they've already separated it, what his duties as, as president was and what he was doing that day was campaigning. Therefore, it doesn't fall under the president act. So they're not, they're going to say no, that he does not have immunity. Hanged man again, the letting go of Trump under the pay, that romantic thing. Can we save him? They're going to let him go. They're going to, they're going to let go of Trump and the fools. They did this to themselves. The fool comes up under, remember this card comes up for Republicans all the time. If they're fools. They did it to themselves. They're, they've been fools. They're regrets. Four of pentacles. They're not going to hold on. They're done holding on to him. They're done holding on to the Republican idea, the BS, all that. It's done. Over. All right, let's go under what's on the four of cups, the queen of cups, intuitive, visionary, the new romantic. The new romantic. We have to move on. We have to get out of this spot. The disconnect. They have to disconnect from Trump. I kind of feel that maybe they have uh, realized the damage that they have done to this country. You know, not in a in a sympathetic and empathic way because we already know who they are. But I'm talking, they understand at the end of the day they're going to lose their jobs too. So there you have it. Darn. All right, everyone. Have a merry, merry Christmas. I probably won't be back on until after Christmas. I have a lot to do, including taking my grandson ice skating into Santa's village and uh, driving around and seeing the Christmas lights. And I'm going to take him up in the mountains to the some of the largest uh, tub tubing down a, a down a snow thingamajigger slide. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of things. Words. That's all I need is words. Help me out. That would be great. So I hope everybody has a merry, merry Christmas, however way you celebrate or if you don't celebrate. It's all good. I just want uh, you to be uh, joyful and happy inside no matter what your decision is. So thanks everyone.